Boeing has been partnering with the African aviation industry for decades, and it's estimated about 70% of commercial jets in the continent are made by the US-based aviation giant, but it's never had an African office until now. The new African office will be based in Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa. Well, mainly it's about taking relationships um, from where they are. Maybe it could be establishing new ones or also uh, strengthening the existing ones to a higher level. The new office and the managing director will be working with uh, stakeholders, uh, airlines, governments, uh, particularly in the transportation uh, sector. We will be working closely in uh, making things uh, that they are going smooth and well. Despite speculation that the new African headquarters could be located in either South Africa or Kenya, Boeing chose Ethiopia. Actors in the aviation industry believe Boeing has multiple and concrete reasons to bug its decision. Addis is a home for the, 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 you know, the most profitable airline in Africa, Ethiopian Airlines. Not only the most profitable airline, it runs close to 150 new aircrafts. You know, always Ethiopian buys new aircrafts, it's factory new, mostly from Boeing. At the same time, they are in working collaboratively with Ethiopian Airlines. You may have heard uh, that Ethiopian manufacture a wire kit harness for Boeing. They are a supplier at this time. And together with Sky Techno and uh, a firm from out of Italy, uh, Ethiopian is now manufacturing insulation blanket for Boeing aircrafts. So there is a huge plan that Ethiopian would be entering to the aerospace manufacturing. And it makes sense that Boeing is locating their headquarters in Addis Ababa. For long, the commercial aviation industry has been dominated by mainly Boeing and Airbus. But now there is a new and strong actor in the game, Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, COMAC. With the recent successful trial of its new aircraft, C919, African and other global airlines are looking to include these white body planes into their fleet. More reason for Boeing to consider expanding relations with African partners. It's a matter of time, believing in a new product. And now China is proving itself in a technology, in any aspect of technology we can say. Uh, now the discussion that recently happened with COMAC, with Saudi is a very significant. So they may be opening uh, a product uh, factory line in, there is a discussion going on to have a factory in Saudi Arabia. So that dominance of the Airbus and the Boeing might not be too long. And it will, I am sure, very soon we'll have a C919 flying in African air skies. By expanding into Africa, Boeing is said to be contributing more for the development of the aviation industry in Africa. The move is also likely to motivate more manufacturers and global industry actors to follow its example. Boeing has set um, an example now that Africa needs uh, its own uh, office, uh, if not uh, separated from the headquarters, but at least uh, an office that will be closely working with African states in based in the African continent. So I'm hoping that not only Airbus or other uh, airplane manufacturers, but also those stakeholders in the aviation and aerospace uh, manufacturing will uh, follow Boeing and will start thinking Africa as uh, a particular and a special assignment on their end. There is an anticipation that African carriers will need over 1,000 new jet aircrafts within the next two decades, with 80% of these deliveries aimed at expanding the existing fleet. Analysts expect increased competition by aircraft manufacturers as more African carriers take to the sky. Grumjara CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.